The leaderboard set it all as the final round of the 113th Joseph H. Patterson Cup took place Friday. Huntington Valley's Jeff Osberg held a one-stroke edge over Little Mill's Michael Highland, but that number quickly changed. Highland struggled early while Osberg marched onward with birdies on holes two and four. At that point, Osberg held a six-stroke lead over the field. Would he continue to ascend, or would a contender catch him? Marion's Michael McDermott made a push with consecutive birdies, including this five-footer on the par four, 415-yard sixth hole, following a wedge from 140 yards. My goal today was just to get um, within range of him, coming from starting at four, and I did that early with a couple birdies. and. Um, I can't even say he hit bad shots. He just hit the wrong club once or twice, and unfortunately that put guys like me back in it. You know, unfortunately I think, you know, Michael made a great move midway through the front nine. Um, you know, I made two really bad bogeys in the par threes, just hit the wrong club. The par threes continued to plague Osberg as he bogeyed the 217-yard 10th hole. Furthermore, he carded a six on the par four 273-yard 11th to fall to three under and to open the field gates. You know, as the pressure builds and uh, and the putter gets a little bulky, it's a bad combination. And the combination just, uh, it really took over in the back nine. And, and unfortunately, I just wasn't really able to overcome it. McDermott also stood at three under until he encountered trouble on the 11th as well. Okay. Yeah, and I was trying to hit it up the right side and, and uh, didn't hit it up the right side at all. Hit it pretty pretty far left pretty quickly. As Osberg and McDermott stumbled, others stayed steady. Five ponds, Justin Hare carded a two under par 68 to grab the clubhouse lead at one under. Meanwhile, on the Chester Valley track, Spring Mills' Christopher Crawford birdied holes 12 and 13 to jolt to four under for the tournament. He lost the stroke on the 179-yard 15th after flying the green with a 6-iron. But Crawford, quiet in demeanor, loud in ability, held strong by executing pars on his final three holes. An aggressive driver on the tempting 324-yard 18th hole, however, could have spelled disaster. I figured if I aimed, I aimed at the right bunker, greenside bunker, and I figured if I hit it anywhere over there, and if I miss right, I'm fine. I can still get up and down and make three. So uh, I thought it was. I thought anywhere around that green would be an easier up and down than laying it back up and hitting eight iron or something in. So no, driver. I think driver I would have hit no matter what. Yeah. With Crawford in at three under, it was up to Osberg or McDermott to challenge. The seismic smashers stood at one under and equipped drivers on the 18th tee, hoping for some magic. Osberg left his green side right and eventually made par. McDermott's outcome told a different story. I don't know, I, I was a little wide-eyed there because I thought, well, I can hit that and, and maybe get it up around the green or on the green, and um, I did, so I, I hit a good drive. Um, I left myself in a little bit of a weird spot. If I was a little further right, it might have been a little easier, but, um, and I was in a divot on the first cut. Um, so it, it was a tough shot. It wasn't one that I was exactly um, expecting to go in, but um, I hit a pretty good shot and, you know, made a birdie. However, McDermott's birdie meant runner-up honors and a Crawford victory. I mean, I was so, I was so far behind. Not that I was out of it, but uh, I was definitely, you know, six shots behind is a lot. I, Winning really wasn't in my mind to start the day. I just wanted to come out and shoot a good round. And uh, so it was, it, was, it was nice to be under the radar. I kind of enjoyed that, that feeling. And Chris is a, a great champion. Um, I mean, he, he outlasted us and, and you know, didn't make the errors that, w that Jeff and I were making. And um, he's a kid that I think um, everybody in Gap knows is, was, a, was a star in the making. And this probably will be the first of many for him. So I'm really happy for him. I, I, he's a kid that I really like. As for Osberg, he walked away with his second Silver Cross Award with a 275 total. You know, semi total event played in two different months on three different golf courses. Uh, it's 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 
you know, it's fun. Um, it's something that's pretty neat. It's, it's exciting to win. Uh, it's definitely an honor. Crawford, a rising senior at Drexel University, is the first Spring Mill member to capture the Joseph H. Patterson Cup. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, it was a little unexpected this week. Um, you know, I had him, I've been playing pretty well, but I hadn't necessarily done it in tournaments, really. I missed the cut at the State Ham last week, actually. But, um, you know, the Gap is, is one of the best golf associations in the country, and it's a, it's a special feeling to win any of the majors. And um, so this feels really good. For Gap TV, Tony Regina.